Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I am going to talk about Dixon Technology a buy at uh, current price and why it is a buy at current price I'll explain that so let's get started first of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about before I talk about Dixon Technology, here is a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that it will help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions and eke out answers on a daily basis. Once you get the $10 membership, you will have access to my portfolio, my watch list and a number of podcasts that I put up from time to time. And also if you have a number of stocks with you or a portfolio etc and you want a direct conversation with me, you can directly email me and we can work things out with a fee. Now about the company, Dixon was established in 1993 and is the leading electronic contract manufacturing firm. It also manufactures consumer durable products uh, like washing machines etc. So they are into a number of products. It boasts of best clients in the business and the market cap of the company is around 25,000 crore. Their clientele includes CB plus in you can say security cameras, they have Xiaomi televisions, they have Samsung phones, Samsung televisions, all washing machines, even Geo set top boxes now they are, uh, uh, they are now producing or manufacturing. Coming to the financials, so these are the Q1 numbers, the June quarter numbers of this year, September quarter numbers would be out in a month or so. So in the June quarter, they did sales of 1870 crores versus 500 odd crores last year and last year you would remember that uh, uh, there was a lot of pandemic. So a lot of shutdown and most of the businesses all across the formats didn't do well so the base is extremely low but still they've done reasonably well to have 3.66 crore in sales and look at the profitability a profit of 18 crores versus a profit of only one crore uh, year on year uh, have just over 80 crores of debt it's not huge when you consider the market cap is around 25,000 crores so it's virtually debt free ROE of 26% which has declined because of the first quarter that we have seen otherwise the ROE is beyond 30% operating profit margin of 5% which has improved uh, from 3 odd percent earlier so they are uh, now working on gaining uh, margins or increasing margins and better margin accredited products that they are producing uh, which, which is a good thing. If you look at the performance, stock is up five times in the last one year. So it has really gone up very sharply and it has been, uh, it has rewarded the investors big time over this period from around 3000 rupees all the way to 20 odd thousand rupees and then had declined. So I'm talking pre split uh, after split is trading at 4000 rupees, which is actually 20,000 rupees pre split. So it has gone up five, six X in 12-15 months numbers have been extremely strong and profit growth has been expanding year on year so the profit growth has been between 25 to 35 percent and is growing even faster and is consistently gaining market share and and remember they are bringing in new customers plus they are getting into different uh, segments so they're getting into set top boxes for geo they're getting into rt pcr kits also uh, in a small way they are into that as well so the basic format of uh, producing electronic products so medical equipments etc is there and they are now trying to expand their horizon into other businesses other segments other products and which will augur well going forward because the uh, debt is extremely low the uh, company has done well with its balance sheet etc so uh, things look extremely bright with the kind of products that they are making FII and DII holding has increased over time over the last two quarters and there is only 8% free float and that's why the stock isn't falling that drastically that we are seeing so it has not fallen 20-30% from the top and there is buying at every lower level So big moat, it is similar to iShare. I, I, I believed that when the market cap was around 3000 crores, I believe the same when the market cap has swollen to around 25,000 crores. It, it, is, it has strong clients in many domains as I have explained 
into set top boxes into mobile phones into led televisions into led lighting into security cameras they are into uh, rt pcr kits so they are into a lot of domains a lot of segments and heavy institutional hni investment tells me and which has taken place over the last six months that there is a long way to go for this stock uh, consumer durable and electronic business is in early stages here in india remember there is strong demand and demand is only going to surge see in the pandemic the demand curtailed big time and we have seen that how businesses which are into ac and washing machines we have seen that those businesses have done virtually nothing and even dixon is into uh, the ac manufacturing in in some way although uh, uh, you can say the other player which is listed in the market is uh, has has amber enterprises is more into it but dixon is also in there in, in a small way at the moment so these kind of consumer durable businesses where the washing machines in which dixon has a strong hold these have not done that well over the last two years so when that really performs a big time i think dixon is going to grow even bigger i think th this is a good chance to accumulate at these levels and you need to understand that when markets open up completely these kind of consumer durable uh, businesses or stocks or or products will sell even more so another thing that is going to propel the business of dixon is electrification which is going to catapult the business even further so over the next four or five years i believe there will be better electrification there will be better you can say uh, number of hours of electricity available in rural even in rural and semi-urban areas so the products electronic products will sell even more so there's a great moat ahead uh, for this business it is still a small cap even at 20 25 000 crores you would say that it is a smaller mid cap it's not it's not a huge mid cap or a large mid cap like an irctc etc it can very well double from here in no time uh, i think the numbers will continue to improve only as the pandemic uh, is in its final stages so things looking brighter for the company it's a big play on higher middle class consumption and which is increasing so you look at led televisions the penetration of led televisions is extremely less even now although things are changing but it's going to increase even further once this pandemic ends and people buy from stores etc so why i buy even after the search so even after being 7 8x why i believe that it is a buy prospects of gaining larger clients in mobile and tv space i think led television space they'll have more clients getting in there there's the prospect of buying one or two more you can say uh clients in the mobile phone domain or as well plus the set of business alone to bring in around thousand crore from this year onwards probably next year onwards at most so from fy23 onwards thousand crores 250 crores quarterly is what is uh, marked by uh, marked by by the company that it's going to do so it's going to really help the numbers all together 11000 crores of sales in fy22 expected and it's going to grow even further so it's trading at two two and a half time sales it's not very you can say expensive it's it's not very you can say it's not very cheap neither expensive to too stretched i think the uh, consolidation has helped it to uh, be more attractive now and expanding capacities in mobile and tv space by more than 60 percent they have expanded it over the last two quarters they are doing the same in this quarter so this will also help going forward for the business to uh, grow even further that that really tells you that what kind of demand uh, uh, dixon sees uh, going forward so i won't be surprised four or five years down the line it will be uh, one of the large caps in this space and and doing extremely well and uh, some other reasons i'll just uh, mention that in this uh, video so another reason why i believe this could be huge is that they are entering the diagnostic kiss business a high margin business as we have seen with kilpest and other uh, you can say businesses that they are doing it's a very high market business if they uh, have a hold in this even with uh, say three four percent market share they will be able to produce good numbers here as well plus pli scheme is directly uh, benefiting the company altogether and and the benefits of pli scheme will come through in 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 two three years so it's not going to come through like every quarter or like that there are still benefits that are 
going to accrue to the company so probably eight quarters down the line you'll see the difference so you'll see the difference in fi23 and even more in fi24 so all that coming together would help the stock price only to go up plus ban on import of led televisions is a huge positive that has taken place over the last three four months uh that uh, that means that there's a lot of duty not quite ban but a lot of duty that is put forward to uh, buying led televisions from abroad that will only help uh, homegrown uh, uh, televisions and, and Dixon is one of the largest, probably the largest manufacturers, contract manufacturers in this space. Uh, looking uh, to substantially increase export of less than $200 phones, this is another reason. So I think two, less than $200 phone when I talk about less than 15,000 rupees. I think exports of such phones will increase especially into, uh, into Southeast Asia in in these places or in the asia pacific region i think this this will also be margin accretive and bring in more revenues remember that in india people normally are now buying into uh, products uh, or or phones which are greater than 200 dollars uh, closer to 250 350 dollars or so so export of such kind of products into you can say 30 years countries across the world would only help uh, also ramping up exports of LED lights and gaining more clients in the same space in the LED light space will also help. Remember that there are few segments in which they are market leaders LED lighting, LED televisions and washing machines. So if they do a lot of things with at least two of them say LED lights and televisions I think they are going to go a long way. There is a lot of scope in these uh, you can say areas and there is a long way to go so the penetration is extremely less both in led lights as well as in led televisions in india and across asia southeast asia etc so after expansion looking to serve 35 percent of all tv requirements so you'll understand that serving the 35 percent uh, television market what would it envisage for a company like dixon and festive season will see pent up demand and strong numbers i believe that the pandemic might not be the third wave might not be that strong as the second it might be closer to the first one i don't see any shutdown taking place so in my opinion the festive season this, this time around will bring in even more revenue for companies like dixon in the next two quarters you'll see the numbers really expand big time and valuations are still attractive uh, uh remember so it may surge to nearly eight thousand crores so sales so i i think sales will surge to more than eight thousand crores so the management has come out and they've said that the sales would be around 10 11 thousand crores so it's trading only at two two and a half times sales which is not very expensive at all it can easily uh, trade between four to five times sales going forward if you look at the techni technicals of the stock, uh, then relatively under-owned stock, especially by retail investors, it is over-owned, uh, so not over-owned, but uh, highly owned by HNIs, by FIIs, DIIs, but retail investors have exited the stock as the stock started moving up. There is short-term support around the 3900, 4000 levels. It is around 4200 at the moment. And the long-term support is around 3500 levels. So any declines below 4000 is a very good uh, buying opportunity and you may see breakout above 4600 so if you get opportunity you can buy some here and buy around 3900 3950 or so so what needs to be done buy on current market price and declines to 3900 or so keep track of numbers have a five year view this could be big i think it should double in less than three years and it should be 5x, 4, 5x from here in the next five years. I, I won't be surprised if it doubles twice over the next five years. So two and a half years could become 50,000 crore and then in the next two and a half years could become one lakh crore market cap company. It is a top class company in this space and should uh, grow uh, grow a lot as, as things change, as, as people's demand for such products. So this is my video on Dixon Technology. Please like and subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get my video straight away when I post it. And kindly support me on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching.